Hi friends, in this video, we shall understand what is anonymous methods of C Sharp 2.0 and how to convert the anonymous methods to lambda expressions of C Sharp 3.0. Before C Sharp 2.0, the only way to declare a delegate was to use unnamed methods. Now first let us observe a simple example of using named methods before we start what is anonymous methods. So that we will have a clear idea on this. So let me just try to open a simple console application. I try to give some kind of uh, meaningful name. So, let me just try to first explain how to use with the named method parameters and then understand what is anonymous methods and lambda expressions. Now, assume that I just try to maintain a collection. So, a list of string say that names equal to list of strings. Assume that I try to add a names collection where I try to set some values like say shaker names dot add of Srinivas names dot add of for example string. Assume that once I added this my requirement is to find out a given name is available or not. For that what I try to do is I say string result names dot find out it is going to take a generic predefined delegate with the name called as predicate where predicate is a special delegate which accepts some parameter and always it returns a boolean type of value now i try to specify the named method called as search name and since the find is going to always take a predicate, predicate return type should always be a boolean. So in case if the result is null, then I try to display something called as name not found. Else I say named found. Now what we try to do is once we have this information, since this is going to be the named method which we are going to have, we have to provide the definition. Let me just try to generate the definition for the search name where we have the things. So I simply say name and let me give some implementation for this. I simply specify return name dot equals so for example shaker so this is going to be a method which takes a string value and returns a boolean type and this named method returns me true if the record is available or false if the value is not present now let me just try to execute this particular thing So since the name is available, I just get named form. So here what we are trying to do is, I am trying to create a named method and that named method as a predicate delegate, I am trying to pass on. Now, instead of using the named methods, from C Sharp 2.0, we got a new feature called as anonymous method. So what does anonymous method means? Anonymous method is an inline, okay. So let me just try to re explain what is anonymous method means. Anonymous methods is an inline unnamed method in the code. It is created using the 
delegate keyword and doesn't require name and return type and hence we can consider an anonymous method has only body without name and return type. The syntax for writing an anonymous method will be delegate argument information and we can just specify the statements. Now let us try to convert the previous program which is written with the support of named methods using anonymous methods. Now let me just try to add a new program. Now let me just try to have the entry point. I create a list of string names equal to names. Let me add the same thing. I add a name called a shaker. Names dot add. I just specify Srinivas. Names dot add some name like string. In the previous case, what I did is I defined a string whistle and I said names dot find whereas we have written some particular named method called as search name and then I just specified result if it is null I just specified name not found else name form. Here what we did is we provided the definition for search name. So let me just try to check out what is the definition we have provided here. So this is going to be the definition what I have provided. Now what I try to do is if I wanted to use this particular named method as an anonymous method instead of writing the search name I provide the functionality itself. But the only thing what I try to do was, as I already mentioned that anonymous method will not have any return type or the name. Instead of this entire code, I just replace this with a name called as delegate. And once I done with this thing, this is going to be treated as your anonymous method. So whenever you wanted to provide an inline method without a name, we can take the support of anonymous method. Now let me just try to make this as a startup object. And let me just try to execute this. So we can just observe it. We got something called as name form. Now, once we know this anonymous method as a replacement in C sharp 3.0, we got a new concept called as lambda expression. So what does lambda expression means? A lambda expression is an anonymous function that we can use to create a delegate or expression tree types. So what are expression tree types? If you wanted to know, please check out the video on expression trees what I provided. By using lambda expressions, you can create local functions that can be passed as argument or written 
as the value of function calls. The syntax for this particular lambda expression is input parameters goes to expression. Now let us try to understand how to convert an anonymous method program to use a lambda expression. So let me just try to add a new class. Let me just try to provide the entry point. I create a list of string. I add the names for example shaker strenivas and string now what we did earlier is I defined a string result where I said names dot find up and we have written some particular delegate and then we said if a result is going to be equal to null I said name not found else I said name found now the only thing what we have done here is we just provided a anonymous method so let me just try to copy the code of the anonymous method and let me try to paste it within this now let us understand how to convert an anonymous method as a lambda expression. We observe the syntax of lambda expression as input parameters goes to expression. As a result, in this particular anonymous method, the input parameter which I am passing as name, this has to go to the expression what we have as this. So I just simply specify and I don't require all this. So quite simple and easy code what we just written is this. Now you can just try to observe it once the code is written with the support of lambda expression the code becomes quite simple and easy. Now I simply passed the input parameter as name and the expression which I am going to return as this. Now let me just try to make this as startup object and let me just try to execute this. We get the same result. Now in the previous programs like in C sharp 1.x and all we always used to prefer to go for the named methodology whereas in 2.0 we have been updated with anonymous methods instead of writing a named method and calling it we can use the anonymous method by writing the functionality where it is required without providing the name and in 3.0 we have been introduced with lambda expression which can reduce further code more detailed expression will be explained in exclusive video on how to use lambda expressions Please don't forget to watch the other video also. I hope this video has provided a clear idea on how to write an anonymous method by converting the named methodology programming and how to convert an anonymous method program to use as a lambda expression program. Happy coding.